What up, ladies and gentlemen? Tyler here from TarverAcademy.com. Slide your phone out when your teacher's not looking. Go to TarverAcademy.com. Subscribe to the YouTube. Everybody's doing it, except for the people that aren't. Tell your friends. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Your problem of the day. What is the decimal notation of 7 times 10 to the negative 4th? Okay? I'm going to be quiet. You pause the video. Unless you've already paused it, I'm going to tell you while you pause it. Work the problem. And then when you resume, we'll see if we got the same answer. Go. Okay. So you've worked the problem. What is the decimal notation? First off, decimal notation means we want to put this into a decimal. Okay. Um, you see this a lot. A lot of times it'll be called scientific notation, um, etc. and so forth. So let's look at this problem. We've got 7 times 10 to the negative 4. First step, write your number. We've got 7. Now, in that, where is your decimal? Your decimal is right here. Now, take just if you're just guessing, say you have no idea about the officialness of it, but just guessing, you've got a negative 4. Now, that could have been a positive 4. Assume that if it's a positive 4, you're going to be making it bigger because anytime you do like 7 times 10 to the negative 4, or to the positive 4, that's going to make it bigger. So the opposite of making it bigger with that negative is going to be making it smaller, okay? So we need to move our decimal four places to the either left or right. We need to go to the right would make that a bigger number. It would make it like, I don't know, 70,000. But your common sense tells you it's negative. It's probably going to make it smaller, okay? It's like, it's like in scientific notation, like when you do problems like this, word problems, you're always like looking at the earth or looking at something really far away because it's such a big number. Just think negative, you're making it smaller. Positive, you're looking at it bigger. You're zooming in, okay? So I'm going to move this decimal four places, okay? There's no other reason you should use another number because this is your main set. That's your only number that you're going to use, so four. If you wanted to move it any a different amount of number spaces, you did it wrong, okay? Don't use numbers that aren't in the problem. Okay, so four. We're going to make it smaller. The way to make it smaller would be to move the decimal this way. Okay, so we'll move it four spots. One, two, three, four. My decimal is now right here. Now I can't have blank spots, can I? No. So put zeros in there. So we've got point zero 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 seven, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's your answer. A lot of times I like people put a zero in the front just because they don't like that number to sit there, but it's zero, 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 seven. Put a zero there if you want to, but the important thing is where my decimal is. And I moved it four spots. I'm good. That's my answer. If you got that, good job. If you didn't, guess what? Try tomorrow. I'll be here. Thank you for tuning in. Check out TarverAcademy.com. Check me out on social media, at Tyler Tarver. Peace. Bye. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com.